told me that I had um Because a better life is waiting for me And I know my grandma's praying for me Cause this life is never what I did seems I'm asleep trying to live my dreams saying guys it's your boy nasa here and if you haven't already done so please make sure you like comment share subscribe and hit that bell notification button for future posts you already know where it is you know what i'm saying all right so in today's video if you haven't already guessed from the title i thought do you know what let me give it a bit of a story time you know what i'm saying um so today's video is a bit different from the rest but you know, you know, I'm on YouTube, you gotta get to know me. And uh this is something that's obviously that happened in my life and I wanna share it with you guys. So it's a story time. So I would say I think I would say about two and a half years ago, coming up to three now, um I went on a on a holiday well it was my first holiday without, you know, family members being there, uh, so on and so forth. And um uh, yeah, so I went, so me and my friends decided to go on a little holiday um, and funny enough, we went to Turkey. Um, so yeah, we're getting really excited now, you know, you know how you do, you gotta, you gotta look sharp, you know what I'm saying? Um, and yeah, so we bought everything that yeah. we needed for our holiday. We basically got everything that we needed, the hype is there, we've saved, you know, I was working at the time. Um, so yeah, when I was working, I was, you know, I was saving, um, I paid for my holiday, we paid for spending money. So yeah, we're all gas basically, we're buzzing in it, like you are. So yeah, everything's fine, we were going to the airport, you know how it is, going through duty free, going through duty free, you're seeing a little, let, let me get it, let me get, you know, you know the ones when you got a, you got a, oh my god, wow, for me, you got a, Mmm, spray nice, has some Nando's, you know what I'm saying? I put my friends on some Nando's breakfast. Mmm, it was peng. Um, and yeah, so now we're boarding the flight, you know how the hype is. Boom, 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 boom. You know what I'm saying? Uh, <laughs> at these times, you're praying, you're praying in your in your soul. You don't want to, you don't want the plane to crash. You're just like, yeah, da -da 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 -da. you know what I'm saying? You're going through duty free, and you're that guy or you're that girl that just walks through. Walks through the airport and doesn't collect what they need. Listen, I was collecting Gucci. I was collecting uh, Versace. I was collecting Armani code. You feel me? Ew. Listen, let me. If you want me to put you on some aftershaves and make a video, listen, Arab Oud. If you don't know about Arab Oud, yeah, I'm gonna put you on that. But that's for our next video. But um, so yeah, now we're boarding the plane. Hype is there, we get to the airport, you know, we go to our transfers, they pick us up in some van. Not gonna lie, it was kind of it was kind of mad because we're thinking, rah, we're trusting our lives with these people that we don't even know. And we're going into our van. It felt like, you know, and in the van I was just like and it was dark, imagine, so it was like four or five in the morning. So yeah. So, anyways, we're doing all of that, we get to the place now with our bags, our luggage, and because it's early in the morning, so everything's just dead quiet. So we're thinking, rah, ghost town um so yeah we get in we you know it takes some time to check in because you know these people were moving a bit slow not gonna lie and we were cussing we were just sitting on the sofas like rah when are we gonna get the key to our room you know what i'm saying and then knowing me because i'm always up front and i'm like listen brother brother you know you speak uh what is the uh, the key key <laughs> boom <laughs> listen but um so yeah we go into our our, our apartment uh, uh complex um, we see the amenities kind of, you know, we get a little breeze of everything and everything's looking good. We get into our accommodation. It was decent, you know what I'm saying? Um, and yeah, it was, so now it's the next um, day. So yeah, it's the next day now. And I kid you not, the views were epic. Like, out for a minute there, you know when you're just thinking, rah, this all-inclusive holiday is actually going to be a decent one. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because you work hard all year round and you just want to have some time to relax and you think right you actually hit the jackpot you know what i'm saying um so yeah i want to hear some views of what i was seeing you know what i'm saying um 
I'm not gonna lie, it was it was stunning, innit? We was next we had our own little private beach. Um it was mad. You saw the sea, the sea was crystal blue. Um yeah, it was it it was definitely, definitely a beautiful place to stay, you know what I'm saying? Um and there were some things there, you know. Okay. The on the second day we um when you if i don't know if you stayed in hotels before in different countries you can there's a choice of you to do like a various amounts of activities so we picked to do um a sightseeing thing going to a gold shop uh jewelry shop um doing horse riding uh gold karting um and various other you know different things um and then on site as well they had a water sports complex a water sports complex now this is when for me my holiday turned um upside down um i love water sports in it but um i've personally never done water sports where you know you do the the jet skis or you do um you know water rafting just those kind of things that i've just never done it so i was a bit i was a bit standoffish as you are when you're trying new things in it um, and then my people were like, yeah, let's do this, da 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 da, da. And I was kind of reserved in it. I was like, oh, I don't know, you know, I'm not really feeling it like that. And they was like, no, 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 you know, da 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 um, Not going to lie, it looks sick to do, but I don't know. I was just having my reservation. You know when you get that gut feeling? Um, and damn right, I should have listened to that gut feeling, innit? Oh, right. um, we go there now, we see everything, and I don't know what's it exactly called, but there's... Um, the water sports where the boat there's a, it's like a half a semicircle and it's an inflatable and you know three or four people can sit at the back of it and it's a it's got a string attached to it and uh you know it's, a, it's attached to a speedboat um and the people that are running there's like fun it's fun very good you know because obviously they just want you to pay money to do it this that and the other and they was like oh da -da 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 -da. so yeah we pay our money now and we put our life jackets on all of that and we start boarding this um boarding this raft this inflatable and i'm not gonna lie to you like you know when your gut feeling is telling you nasa you don't do this like you know something's not right don't do it like i kid you not i was even telling my people like no nah, i'm so not yeah no we they, we had a little induction of what to do what not to do so we're boarding it now um and i'm not gonna lie back then i was i was i was a uh, i was a uh, uh i was eating good didn't it <laughs> let's just say that i was eating good so um yeah so i'm sitting on one side one of my friends are in the middle and another of my friends are on the side you know so there's three people there um and then this guy's like the people that run it they're like you wanted the uh, camera good you know it's very good like you know they're trying to obviously get more money out of us and i'm there thinking nah <laughs> i'm not trying to remember this because i know something's gonna go down my friend's like yeah 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 that'd be good and then i'm thinking raw what if i sign myself up to you, you know what i'm All saying of a sudden the, it starts to so we're on the water now it's on it's on like the sea in it or well, i don't know what's it called the river the sea i don't know it was blue in it <laughs> Bro, what are you talking about, man? <laughs> um, and then it starts going. And then you have these things that you hold on to each side. But the one in the middle was like a piece of rope. That ain't going to hold me. Listen, there's a lot of meat out on this boat. You know what I'm saying? So I'm holding on for dear life. For dear life, people. For dear life. I was holding to a point where the circulation was not working. The circulation was not going through. I was locked. I was like, like a locking key. Boom, boom, boom. That shit ain't going to come off. You know what I'm saying? No. So we're going now. And it's going at a, as a reasonable pace. So we're going, you know what I'm saying? I'm holding on. You know what I'm saying? I'm holding on. And I'm going. You know what I'm saying? And it's, uh, so it's going and it's going. And we're going. We're having fun going. <laughs> you know, everyone's everyone's laughing screaming whatever they're doing no oh, faster faster i'm like slower slower you feel me i was like i don't want to go faster innit so i'm there just just you know eyes shut praying like you do and my friends are dickheads because they was like faster faster i was like no i was like no i was like no nah. like this is going fast enough this guy in front of us that was driving the boat there was one driving the boat and there was one camera cord in it so this guy starts going in zigzags and i'm going this way and i'm going that way you feel me and i'm going like this nah my legs my legs was like this in the air you feel me 
No, it was, it was, uh, yeah, no, nah, never again. Zigzags, it. it's going to a point, yeah, where these men are having the time of their life. I'm there, not even looking at the experience or the sea or having fun. I'm there holding on because I know if I did not hold on to a point where I've lost the circulation, I would have been in that sea. And God knows what is in that sea. There could be pi piranhas, sharks. Listen, jellyfish, I'm saying, listen, I was not trying to die. You know what I'm saying? That was not going to be the case. I wasn't going to be that uh, English tourist to die on holiday. Oh, no. No, 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 no. These times, yeah, so this guy, the guy that's driving the boat is going faster, faster. And literally, it feels like the thing's going to capsize over, innit? It feels like you're going to fall out. It was, I'm telling you the feeling, if you was there... Nah, so these times I was wearing a t-shirt in it, you know, shorts like you do, you know what I'm saying, you're going water, water sports And the life jacket is kind of hooked on the t-shirt, hooked on the t-shirt in it So my back is, is you know, sh is showing in it And it's on, there's rubber in it, the thing's rubber And it's rubbing, because I'm holding on so tight And the thing is going up and down, up and down It's rubbing against my back Um... And, and at the time, I could feel the pain of it. You know when your skin is like, there's shedding skin, I could feel it. But to be honest with you, I wasn't even worried. I was like, listen, let it bleed. Because I'm holding on, you know what I'm saying? I'm not going to die today. Um, so yeah, and I, you know, so it's hurting yeah, my Everything's back. over now, you know what I'm saying? I was recovering. I was, when I went on the ground, I tell you, I kid you not now. I was praying for the Lord. I was praying. I was like, thank you, God. Thank you for getting me here. Because I swear to God, I, f I did not think I was going to make it. Nah, you know what I'm saying? But these times, I started getting, like, really bad, like, back pain, lower back pain. And I was thinking, oh, like, you know, or oh, maybe it's just because I was, you know, it was rubbing and I was holding on too tight. And I was thinking, I was I was talking to my people. I was like, oh, you know, my back's kind of sore, you know, like, oh, and they was like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, we didn't really fit much off it at the time, innit? And then we go back to accommodation and, you know, like you do, you clean up, scrub up, you know what I'm saying? It looks sharp. Um, and I have a look at my back in the mirror and when I'm having a shower, I know something's not right. And I'm just seeing everything's really red, oh, isn't it? And my like people to have a look as well. And they was like, yeah, it's red, you know, da, da, da. And obviously we're all thinking nothing of it. Everyone's just like, oh yeah, maybe because you was holding on, it was rubbing, this, that and the other. So anyways, you know, have a shower, clean up, put some cream on it, you know, hope for the best. Go about our day. And maybe towards the night, I started feeling, I started feeling a bit, um, a bit unwell. And I was thinking, oh, maybe it's just because I'm tired, you know, you're on holiday, you, you do loads of activities, makes you tired, swimming, this, that and the other. Don't think nothing off of it. The next day comes now and, you know, if you're a white person and you're sunbathing, you know, it's, it's a sad story because you, you go red before you get a tan, innit? So um, there was a whole thing there, you know, I was getting dehydrated from the sun and, um, you know, getting basically sunburned and it creams on it. Maybe some I shouldn't have put, but you know, when you're just there, you're thinking, oh, anything to cool it down, trying to get, we, were, we had an aloe vera plant in front of our, um, our, our complex, innit? And then these man was like, yeah, we should try to take some of this, innit? Because it's obviously expensive. So he was trying to cut it up <laughs> and he was trying to use some of it to like, you know, cool my skin, you know, cool their skin, you know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, no, I'm, so we're going about our day on our second day now and I started feeling, I started feeling that, I don't know how to explain it, I was feeling drowsy, I was just, feel, my head was a bit like, you know when you get a migraine, but it was a migraine where I just felt, oh, like, I didn't want to do nothing, innit? Um, so then again, I just thought maybe oh, I'm a bit dehydrated or, you know, I've just been doing too much, you know what I'm saying? Um, so you're yeah, going about our day, doing our different activities. And this is when it gets so, serious. um, it comes the evening now and, you know, there's a shisha, uh, there's a shisha bit in our, um, on our site. So we went, we, we did some shisha, this, that and the other. And that night I was saying to my people like, oh, like, you know, you know, when I was like, oh, I don't feel like something feels like, I don't know. I just don't, I feel weird. Like, I don't, I don't feel well. And we don't think nothing off of it, innit? Um, but then it comes to a point now where I'm seeing... I'm seeing like flashes and um, I don't know, like I feel really lightheaded. I can't really stand too toughly. My bones, I kid you not, my bones were aching to the rim. Like it was, I was in pain. Um, 
I was getting feverish. But obviously, because it's hot out there, you, you think, oh, maybe because it's just too hot. And sometimes the night, it's cooler, but it's still quite, you know, it's like, a, you know, it's, it's telling my people, like, no, something, something's not right. But I didn't want to... I didn't want to dampen the holiday in it, so I'm someone that just gets on with it. I don't really moan like that in it. So I was like, oh yeah, I was telling my friends were like, no, Nasa, you need to go to bed or you need to, you know. And I was like, no, 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 I'm fine. Like, you know, everything's fine. But then it came to a point where I needed my bed, didn't it? So I'm going to my bed now. My people are, you know, they're playing cards in the, the living room kind of bit of our apartment thing. You know, they're talking, doing what they're doing, staying up, you know, busting joke, this, that, and other. They think I'm asleep, innit? So, so yeah, I'm in my bed and I can generally, like, it's, I'm finding it hard to breathe. Um, I was, I'm finding it hard to breathe and um, I'm feeling, I'm burning. Like, you touch your skin and I was burning, like, and my head, I don't know, I was feeling... I don't know, I, was, I couldn't breathe. And obviously when you can't get enough oxygen, you, just, you know, your, your body starts doing some mad stuff and... I was like moving weird in the bed and you know my body's like I, my skin was red it was burning up like you know something wasn't right in it and so the door was also like it was halfway closed as well but then one of my friends like kind of heard something and it was like you know so and then they're hearing me like you know I was struggling to breathe and struggling you know just struggling in it I was yeah um and then one of them comes and checks in on me and they're like Nasa you're right um, this bit is kind of vivid because I was in so much pain I was like I wasn't really concentrating but going over everything and speaking to my people you know you know they come rushing in you know they're like oh Nasa what's going on oh, it comes to a point where they literally ripped like they ripped off all the covers threw off all the covers over me and um, and, they're, and they're getting like towels not even not even small cloths they was getting towels and soaking it and literally just pulling it on my legs pulling it on my arms um like putting cushions underneath my head because you know obviously to help me breathe and stuff um and i'm in there in the bed like you know i'm just stuck and obviously I, at that point i was just i was proper out of it like um and then they go and get some help um and then the people on site they come in uh, and then they call a uh, they call a doctor, and the local doctor comes now with a with a nurse, and uh, they they're seeing observations on me, and they're speaking in their language. You can't speak the same language, so you're all thinking, oh, like what's going on? Um, you know what's going to happen? Yeah, you know what's going on? Do you know what I mean? I'm having an allergic reaction. You know what's going on in English, and I can't remember exactly what was said, but what I do remember is um, they saying I need to go to hospital. And I'm at a point now where I was getting shook because it's like going to hospital in a foreign country. I haven't got my parents. I'm with my friends. You know what I'm saying? Um, so, yeah, everything was just getting really deep. And obviously, they was panicking because they're at a point where they're away with one of their friends. And one of their friends, there's meant to be a holiday and someone's get, like someone's taken ill. They, you know, they're not dealt with these circumstances. Like, they haven't been, like, none of us been dealt with what to do. So, we use, they use their common sense, you know. They're doing what they're doing, you know got the doctor and then my my um they check my blood pressure is it's like really high um and my temperature an injection to to you know they're on site to, to help me maintain um you know help with i think my my blood pressure my breathing and also my temperature cause my temperature wouldn't come down um and then yeah they're like no you need the hospital so they get they have these golf carts at on the site so everyone's helping me get up collecting what i needed and I'm literally, I couldn't even walk. So they're helping me walk into the golf cart and they put me in the golf cart and I'm just kind of like, you know, my friends are with me in the golf cart, but I'm kind of like to the side like this. <laughs> um, and yeah, so they put me in the cab, you know, I'm I'm like, I feel like I'm drunk. I don't know, like, I feel like I'm a bit spacey. Like, you know, I don't really know what's going on, but I know that I'm obviously going to hospital. Yeah, no, my friends, you. they was just like, you know, it's going to be okay. You're going to be okay, you know. We're going to hospital now and I'm hearing their voices, but you know, cause I'm in so much pain. I'm like, you know, I'm not even thinking about anything. I just want to get seen and get, you know, that's what I'm saying. So we get into hospital now, um, we go in and they put me in a, in a cubicle room and they lay me on the bed and my skin was blistery red, like red, tomato red. You know what I'm saying? Tomato red. It was red and they're putting IVs in me. Um, I'm calm with blood tests and everything. So they're putting all these IVs in me. They was putting 
they were taking bloods you know my friends had to wait in the in the room they wasn't allowed in they was doing all that they was doing um they was filling out all my paperwork you know trying to you know see what, what's going on da, 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 health issues waiting for the bloods day. waiting for everything to be done with and a good job as well i had a uh, travel insurance so i had my insurance to to, to cover me in it um, so my friends were trying to sort out all of that because I couldn't, I wasn't able to deal with all of that. Um, I wasn't really speaking. I was just kind of out of it, in and out of it. Um, I was in a lot of pain. Um, and then the doctors come back with the results. So the doctors, there was about three doctors that came in and there was a nurse. And they're just like looking at me, looking at my observations. And um, they told me that I had...